you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Claudia, where have you been? Where have you been? Oh my God. February has been absolutely crazy. I am here. I just, okay. So let's start off with this way. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Claudia Nari. And on here, we normally talk about fragrances that are in my collection. We talk about layering of fragrances. I have been trying to do a fragrance tray. January, I was able to do it. February, I'm running a little late. So for all of those who have come and you watch my video religiously and you kind of come back and you're trying to figure out where have you been, I am back. I am sorry. Let's get started. For all of you all who are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you subscribe and you like what my channel has to offer. I do have a playlist of all the videos that I have and you can always go back and check those out. But I do not want to hold you. This is how we're going to handle it. I am going to take you to what should have already came out and it took me forever to edit. <laughs> so let's have that video and then I'm going to come back and I'll tell you about how did I layer them. Uh, there's any of them that I picked that won't make it. Uh, to stay in my collection. Talk to you soon. If this is your first time ever coming across my page, welcome. My name is Claudia Nari, and I would love for you to subscribe and join the family. Again, on here, we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection or even recommendations that you all may have that you might be interested in uh, me reviewing for you. Uh, if this is something that you've been looking for, and I'm so happy that you found my channel, but we often talk about fragrances uh, monthly. So if you want to know what did I wear in January, I'll make sure that I post that above my head so that you can always click on that video. But this is about what did I wear in February? Well, February is a month of love, really, right? So that's what I think of when I pick out my fragrances that I want to wear for that month. So this is going to be a lot of... Um, like syrupy fragrances, chocolate fragrances, right? Uh, so let's just jump right in. My very first one is Wild Cherry by Mancera. I love this one. I love this one simply because of the cherry note. Like it took me forever uh, to even come across this one. Uh, I had gotten wild candy. I had gotten wild fruit, but I really wanted wild cherry is a great one if you're looking for one to start off with with mancera this is a really good one and it's super affordable right now i want to say you can get it probably under a hundred dollars uh, so of course i had to have wild cherry on my table and just sticking with the manceras right i don't want to move uh too far out of it so i'll, I'll try to keep us close to um each group as possible my next one I had to have, oh, I wanted this one so bad and I got it. I was super excited and that is Tonka Cola. Oh, this is good. If you want like a Coca-Cola smell, almost like a cherry, almost like a cherry Dr. Pepper. That's what this is. But uh, it has a Coca-Cola note. It has a spicy, like almost cinnamon note to it. So of course, Tonka Cola was on my February list. Okay, so moving into, I think all the other ones I had were are like onesie twosies. And uh, so my next one that I have is going to be by Aqua Allegora. And that is the Flora Cherisa. Cherisa, I think it's called. God, I've had, I've had this one for so long. Oh God, I love this one. This is when I was really into like the whole, the, like the, you know, they had the whole little bee hive type, um, uh, things with it. And I had a lot of them, honestly, I had, uh, I had a, a bunch of them and slowly but surely they have been kind of leaving out of my collection, but I kept this one, I think because it was fresh. So if you're looking for something fresh and powdery, uh, this was like an easy reach. This was one where when I decided I wanted to just wear, this is like a good bedtime scent. Yeah, like a good bedtime scent, a good, just easy reach running to the store. So I had to pick one to add to my shelf, 
uh, to pick from that was just like an easy one. It wasn't one that was over Grimaud. It wasn't super heavy. Uh, so, so you do have to light white musk. So I had to have this one, you know, cause you gotta have an easy reach, right? You gotta have one on your, sh on your shelf to pick from that is just not too complicated, not too much going on. Uh, another one, and then I'm gonna leave all the ones I use mostly for layering towards the end. Uh, another one that I went with, uh, is going to be, and this is more chocolate, right? And this is Crystal Love for Her by Atar. Oh, this is like, if you haven't tried this one, please get a sample. Please, please, please get a sample of this one. Because Crystal love for her, the top of my head, what I get from this one is chocolate, vanilla, and like a, like almost like a, um, the milk chocolate. You ever had a milk chocolate where it's kind of powdery? Almost like the dust, the cocoa powder, right? That's the chocolate that's in here. It's not real, real like sweet, but it does have a sweetness to it. Rose dipped in chocolate. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it does. I hope that makes sense. But that's what it is for me. And I always reach for this one. This is this is one that I'm gonna always have in my collection. So every February, March, kind of around the January time, that early part of the year, I'm gonna pull this one out because I really, I really enjoyed this one. Okay, so another one that was an easy one for me to want to put out, and I wanted to try it, honestly. Um, I wanted to figure out if this was more me, because based on the name, I think I kind of expected more Gourmand, but I didn't really get Gourmand. I still enjoyed it. I really did enjoy this one, but I keep pulling it out because I'm trying to figure out where do it, does it fit. And the one I'm talking about is Cafe Gourmand by Mason um, I want to say Tahite. Um, this is like a woody chocolate coffee, right? But it's not, it's not like your Cafe du Monde coffee or your, uh, Cappuccino Matiago. It's not, it's not that, or, you know, the, it's not that. There's like a sophistication to this. And like I said, I'm still trying to figure out. Every time I say I'm trying to figure it out, I'm trying to find out, is this February time of the year or is this more winter? Because I find that I wear this in both uh, December time and I also feel like I pull for it again in February, right? Because uh, it's so sexy. Like this is a really sexy unisex fragrance. Man or woman can wear this one. And that's Cafe Gourmand. You're going to be super sexy. So, yes, this one had to make it. It had to make I think it started off as a trial for me. But I, I, I really enjoy it. The, smelling it off the nozzle doesn't really give it the effect that I got <laughs> from that. Like, it's, it's really good. It's really good. So, let's talk about... Um, let's talk about... The, uh, oh, I have one more before I start getting into what I layered. This was one that I just, I wish I would have just bought um, the large bottle of this. But, you know, the small bottle, because it, it's, it's such a good fragrance. It doesn't really matter that I end up getting the small bottle. I know that I'm eventually go back and get the large bottle. And that is Kiss Me Intense. Kiss Me Intense. Oh, my God. It's is gorgeous it is like it's like a it has a nutty a creamy nuttiness to it you're gonna get almond i want to say it gotta have some patchouli not patchouli it has some pistachio or something like that in it but that white floral is so fresh it's 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 good this one is gorgeous it's like the kiss me on the neck type fragrance yes i wish i had a bigger bottle i just wish i had a bigger bottle Okay, so I want to talk about the ones that I pulled out for layering. And I feel like everyone talks about these, uh, so I won't really get too far into them. Uh, but my first one I used for layering, I was going to layer with the fragrances that I have, of course, of course is Lost Cherry. Uh, you've heard about Lost Cherry. You've heard about it. You've heard about it, right? Basically, Lost Cherry is a good fragrance. It just does not last. So if you're looking for to add a little cherry note, 
to your fragrance when you layer lost cherry with something else um it gives it a little more longevity but by itself not so much so i'm gonna use this one as a layer another one that i'm using as a layer is going to be velvet chocolate velvet chocolate is it's just chocolate that's what i love about theodora's um carlantini's line what he names it is exactly what it is velvet chocolate this is creamy milky chocolate so if i want to add a little more chocolate to something then of course um I, i'm reaching for velvet chocolate i'm for sure going to come back and tell you about uh what i did to layer these yeah i really like this my other one that i'm gonna use for layering is one that i absolutely adore um I adore this one. This is Blood Cordial by um, Dream Dream House of Coro. That's this one here. Uh, and I use this one on its own. I've used it with um, other fragrances. But for February, it's going to be my layering one. It's going to be the one that I'm going to add on top of all the other fragrances that we just previously talked about. Now these are ones that um i had gotten into my collection and you always hear me talk about these right um and i saved them for the end because i really think that everyone should get into nazar right uh the nazar line is such a a wide like variety of a line it's one of those lines that uh he really put a lot of work terrence put a lot of work into these fragrances and I do have a discount code. Of course, I will have the discount code written in the uh, in the in the description below, where you can save fifteen percent off. If it's not fifteen percent, I think he might have taken it down to ten. But either way, a savings is a savings, right? My very first one is Chocolate Bay. Chocolate Bay. <sighs> Chocolate Bay should be talked about more. So beautifully blended. Chocolate Bay. Is probably going to be what I'm going to end up wearing on Valentine's Day. Just something to kind of have on. Um, I love Chocolate Bay. I love Chocolate Bay. And I also took out the one that I always find myself when I want to layer something with um, Chocolate Bay. Th this is like an easy an easy one for me to go get. Nazarite. Nazarite is one that um, initially it was uh, geared towards men, right? Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer that there is no actual gender to a fragrance. It's, it's what you like. When I say if you got these two together, it's a winner. It's an absolute winner. I love Nazarite. And I love I love Nazarite on its own. But I love Nazarite with Chocolate Bay. I love Chocolate Bay with many of my other fragrances. From Nazar, for the month of February, these would be great to go out and get. Okay, so I have went over what my February tray is going to be. I'm super excited. <laughs> I am super excited to what February is going to bring and how I'm going to put these fragrances together. I hope you stay tuned and come back later on in the month when I talk about what I'm going to layer them with. Talk to you soon. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my video telling you what I was wearing for February. So let's get into how did I layer them. Uh, in the month of February, I layered, I, I layered Tonka Cola with Velvet Chocolate. Oh my God, this was my Valentine scent. This was so good. I literally was a dessert. I was edible. It was it was amazing. These two, Tonka Cola, Velvet Chocolate. Okay, uh, another one that I layered together is my Old and Faithful. I think I might have mentioned that I always seem to go get Nazarite uh, whenever I'm wearing Chocolate Bay. Uh, so, of course, I put these two together. I smelled amazing, absolutely amazing. So I do have a uh, discount code 
in the description below if you're interested in getting Nazarite, which can be worn by men, a man or a woman. And Chocolate Bay, Chocolate Bay is that. It is, I think people should be talking about this one more. But these two together is what I put together. Okay, also with Chocolate Bay, I wore, uh, actually Chocolate Bay got a lot of action in the month of February. I did have Chocolate Bay with Wild Cherry. Great. It gave it like almost like a chocolate dipped cherry. Um, I wore Chocolate Bay with um, Blood Cordial. Again, it was another one of those chocolate dipped cherries. But it was almost, it gave me the idea of the candy. I don't know if y'all know about this candy, but it was a chocolate candy that had like cherries. And it was like a cherry, it was a whole cherry, but it had like a syrup that came out of it. That's what these two together, Chocolate Bay and Blood Cordial by uh, Dream House of Coral did for me. Lost Cherry, I wore with um, Wild Cherry. Um, I think I put Lost Cherry on my clothes, Wild Cherry on my body. I had uh, Lost Cherry with Tonka Cola. That was a good blend. That was absolutely amazing together. Um, what's another one? I found myself kind of with the ones that I'm telling y'all about before are ones that I kept reaching for. I kept reaching for. I keep reaching, reaching for. This one here. This is Cafe Gourmand. Cafe Gourmand was good. It was good. I'm still trying to figure out how to wear this one. Because this one has this... Uh, earthy warmness to it so i will admit cafe grandma for me i didn't find myself reaching for it as often as i would have liked uh but i i won't say that it won't stay in my collection uh it's gonna stay because i'm gonna figure out how to wear this um when i say figure out how to wear it meaning like when when i'm gonna get the best out of this one here but cafe grandma was good i wore it by itself but i can admit that i probably wore it maybe twice um in the whole month uh i cherry love not cherry uh crystal love for her what did i find myself layering this one with um i think i did this one with if i'm not mistaken wild cherry i want to say i put this one with wild cherry either i put it with wild cherry or no i didn't no i didn't i'm gonna take it back i know what i did i wanted to enhance the chocolate that was in crystal love for her and i added it with velvet chocolate so when i wore it um i think i wore it like two or three times but when i reached and wore this one as a layer um i wore it with this one and i also had on the body spray i had on was um god i cannot think of it if i can find it i'll make sure that i post it um above my head but i want to say it was like chocolate I'm going to post it. I'm going to post it because I want to say that I've, I've already put that one up. I, I already put that body spray up. Now, the ones that uh, did not, and I'm not going to say that it, it did not do as well for me in February, um, is the floral cherry, um, I think it's, this is uh, Cherry Asa, cherry, uh, cherry Sia or whatever, I think, um, by Aqua Allegora. I wore it to bed, and that's the only time I wore it. I wore it to bed a lot. Um, I didn't wear it often enough for it to make it to the collection. I'm kind of thinking this is going to get moved to the shelf that I have in my bathroom for fragrances that I just spray on myself, like fresh out the shower. I spray on myself when I'm going to bed. Um, it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous scent. It was really light, and I think because here in Texas, it didn't get really cold um enough well i don't know if it was, is that it didn't get cold i just i just didn't find myself reaching for it um because we had a couple of cold days but on the cold days i find myself wearing more of the chocolate fragrances i really like this one but i really think that it's going to make it to my shelf that i have in the bathroom uh it's a well it's not actually in my bathroom it's in my closet which is after you pass my bathroom uh, that I reach for every time I want to put on something to wear to bed. 
And then my other one that I just don't think it's the time for it is Kiss Me Intense. Kiss Me Intense is so good. It deserves it deserves a, a season where it can project off of your skin, right? Kiss Me Intense for me was wasted in February. I really should have pulled this one out in January or December. So that's what I'm going to do uh, in this year, closer to when it starts to get real cool. I might even take it out in the fall. So for February, Kiss Me Intense wasn't the right time for me. So that's what I layered it with. Um, again, uh, I know that this is a very long video because I'm going to attach what video should have been came out <laughs> with what I've layered it with. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I greatly appreciate each and every time y'all tune into my videos. I hope to see you soon and I hope that you've already subscribed. And if not hit the subscription button and the notification, I'll talk to you next time.